Welcome to ECLIMU Learning Simplified and welcome to this lesson. In the previous lesson, we have discussed magnetic field and magnetic field lines, and we have seen some of the characteristics of magnetic field lines and the origin and the sink of magnetic field that is North Pole to South Pole. Now, in this lesson, we are going to discuss magnetic shielding and what we are going to realize when you have like poles close to each other, there is a region where the magnetic field or the magnetic influence is not felt. And we are going to call it a shielded place. We are also going to see different arrangement of magnetic materials like a soft iron ring and soft iron bars, which are going to shield or protect some places from getting a magnetic influence. My name is Albert. I hope you will enjoy the lesson. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to describe what a neutral point is, then explain the magnetic field in a soft iron bar and a soft iron ring, then explain what magnetic shielding is and how it happens, and then finally describe the applications of magnetic shielding. So what is a neutral point in regards to magnetism? In regards to magnetism, a neutral point which we note most of the time as X or at times we denote it as P is a specific location within a magnetic field. But we said a magnetic field is an area around a magnet where the magnetic influence is felt, where attraction and repulsion is felt the greatest. But we realize at this point the resultant magnetic field is zero. This means the magnetic forces from different directions will cancel out. Therefore, the net magnetic effect is zero. Now, but now, how can a net magnetic field be zero within a magnetic field which we have said that is where maximum magnetic influence or attraction or repulsion is felt? I want to draw a very simple setup here of two magnets which its two like poles are close to each other and let me use north pole so we have here north pole close to north pole then in this case if we draw magnetic pattern around this magnet this one will produce magnetic field which will move to south pole like that and then another field moving to south pole like that i told you we must use at least three field lines like that and then another one like that then they should not intersect then they should move from north pole to south pole then now when this one produces also a field it will move to south pole like that then another field line like that then another field down on the lower part like that and then another field line like that so we will realize there is no field which will come from this north pole to this other north pole so it means at this point here there is no magnetic influence at all since the field lines from this magnet one magnet two they have cancelled out and they have repelled each other out so at this point we call it a neutral point neutral point so at that point there is no magnetic field and we're going to realize that this point which we call the neutral point or the pro this property of magnets forming a neutral point at a point is very important because it's going to help us in very wide applications as we are going to see later in this lesson. So we have different arrangement or different concentration of magnetic field lines around different magnetic materials and we are going to begin with the first magnetic material here which is a soft iron bar or a soft iron core and in this case if you have two bar magnets that is north pole south pole then you have a soft iron bar in between here then you have another magnet with a south pole on this side and north pole on that side then remember this magnetic field should be moving from north pole in a free way like that to south pole 
But now what will happen in this case, these field lines cannot move outside this magnetic, all this magnetic material, which is a soft, let me label it, it's a soft iron core. Now these magnetic fields, will all of them concentrate. The one which will be coming from here will concentrate inside this uh, soft iron core, and then it will move to the other end of the south pole. So all magnetic field lines will concentrate it themselves inside this soft iron core. Now this property of soft iron core, concentrating magnetic field lines within itself is going to be very important because we can use it to create neutral point and even storing magnets, which we will be going to see later. Another case that we want to consider of concentration of magnetic field lines is when we have a soft iron ring. And when we have a soft iron ring, let's say we have a magnet here and another magnet here. This one is North Pole, South Pole, North Pole, South Pole. If we have a soft iron ring here, like that, like this, let me call it a soft iron ring. So the field line should be moving from North Pole to South Pole. And we expect these field lines to move through one or, one or few field lines should be moving directly from this North Pole to South Pole but that one will not happen. What we are going to realize is that these field lines will only move in a path where we have the soft iron ring. So like in this case, if you have a field like here, it will be moving within that ring like that. Then if you have another one here, it will move or it will concentrate within that soft iron ring like that. It will try as much as possible to escape this new middle part of this ring. So it will be moving like that and it will be concentrated only within the soft iron ring. So a point here will remain, this point here, where there's no magnetic field at all. And that point is what we call now a soft, not soft, but a neutral point. This one is what we call a neutral a neutral point and we are going to see some of its important uh, effects and important application. So the idea that we have just discussed where you can use a soft iron ring or a soft iron core to prevent a magnetic field from reaching a certain point within the magnetic field that is called magnetic shielding. So in magnetic shielding, if I can redraw, if for example, you have a soft iron ring, then this is the soft iron ring, which has a hole in between it. Then if you draw the magnetic field lines from North Pole through the South Pole, they will only be concentrated within the ring. And then they will try as much as possible to escape from passing or to avoid passing through the ring or the hole inside that ring. Now, this point here, where there's no magnetic inference felt there within that field is what we call the shielded area. This is the shielded area. Now, this shielded area means there's no magnetic inference which is felt at that point and we are going to see this process of shielding or protecting an area from magnetic field or from magnetic inference is going to be very important especially on electrical instruments or electrical measuring instruments and even in watches so some of the applications of the idea of magnetic shielding we applied in electrical measuring instruments where we protect the pointer of the electrical measuring instrument from being interfered from the outside magnetic field. So here, what we are going to realize, instruments like ammeters, ammeters and, and voltimeters, they have a scale, and this scale is read by the movement 
of by observing the movement of our pointer and this pointer that we we use in these instruments is a magnetic material magnetic material now if you have a magnet in a lab with north pole and south pole and you are making your readings on this instrument close to a magnet this magnet can make this pointer since it's magnetic to move around which might give you a wrong result now to prevent this from happening then this scale and the pointer of this measuring instrument is always surrounded by a soft iron core material this is what we call a soft iron core around this component of this measuring instrument so this one is a soft iron core they are arranged around this magnet in such a way that if you have a magnet at the on the outer part of this um, measuring instrument let's say you are in a lab and you have a magnet there let's say you have a magnet like this this is your magnet with the north pole and south pole then the field which is being produced will try to come in and then it will be concentrated within this uh, soft iron core like that so instead of going straight into the inner part it will only be concentrated around this uh, core since soft iron core has a property or the ability of concentrating the magnetic field lines within itself so in this case this field cannot move inside this uh, pointer to interfere with the result so you can use your voltmeter even if you have very many magnets around so in this case this pointer is at a neutral point where there's no magnetic influence so that it does not alter with the result the second application of uh, magnetic shielding is in the watches so some watches especially those with sensitive mechanical movement like those which, which have metallic arms they are incorporated with a soft iron ring let's say this your watch here which is reading this is 12 is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 like that then it has arms and these arms most of the time are made of metallic or magnetic material now when they are made of magnetic material then it means any movement or any magnetic influence from outside here is if you have a magnet around magnet north pole is going to make these arms to rotate around careless or attract them now to prevent that from happening then now you bring or you surround this watch they are always if you have a watch a metallic watch you can confirm this if the arms are made of a metallic component then here you have a very shiny metallic soft iron ring you have a soft iron ring like this soft iron ring now this ring its function will be it will be diverting the field lines if these field lines are being produced from north pole they come to this ring they will only move along that metallic ring like that and then they will be prevented from entering where the arms of the watch are and if the field enters inside there then it means you to read a wrong time so the property of using this soft iron ring to prevent the magnetic field from reaching this point where we have the arms of this watch is what we call magnetic shielding this is what we call magnetic shielding so we have used the idea of magnetic shielding to prevent the magnetic field lines or magnetic uh, field from reaching this point inside here and therefore our watch can function normally even if you enter a room full of magnets your watch will be reading the correct time throughout courtesy of the soft iron ring around the arms of those uh, watch 
So that marks the end of our lesson today. In the next lesson, we will talk about how to magnetize materials and the domain theory of magnetism.